All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Follow me on Twitter at Anthony Smoke. So we are back in Tableau looking at quadrant uh, analysis. This is quadrant analysis part two. So go back and check out uh, my first quadrant uh, analysis video to see how we got to this point. Again, we're looking at uh, NBA data for the 2016-2017 season, and we're plotting teams, uh, their percentile of wins, versus the percentile of a uh, field goal percentage. So there are a couple of tweaks that can be made uh, to the first video that I showed you, to that first quadrant analysis, um, where we can uh, make the, the, uh, the visualization uh, interactive. So I can create parameter-driven uh, user-defined quadrants that aren't defined by both uh, reference lines intersecting at uh, at 50% here, right? So to put that in English, uh, we're going to create a viz where as I change the parameter values, uh, these reference lines are going to move and the colors of the, uh, the marks here, the data points will change, right? So let's just get right into that. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do here is we're going to create uh, two parameters, right? So I'm going to go here, go up here, we're going to create a parameter and let's call it percentile field goal percent right and i want to make sure that i change this to all right it's already a float that's good and let's start it out at 0.5 and our display format we want that to be a percentage with no decimal uh, places and i want it to be a range our minimum is going to be zero. Our maximum is one, so it's gonna go from zero to 100%. And we're gonna step 0.1, we're gonna step 10% at a time. So as you can see, uh, we have a new parameter down here. So I'm gonna right click, and we're going to duplicate this parameter, and then I'm gonna go in and edit it. And only thing I'm gonna do here is just change the names, right? So this is gonna be percentile wins everything's the same say okay and so if you saw my first uh, parameter video go back and check uh, that out you know that parameters aren't uh, useful uh, unless they are tied to something right so we're going to show the uh, the parameter controls for both of these first and then we'll bake them into a, uh, a calculated field so let's let's show those uh, uh, parameter controls. I'm going to back them down here to 50. You see, nothing happens when I when I move uh, move these values. Nothing nothing changes uh, in the uh, visualization. Uh, that is because we have to make sure that these are tied. And if you haven't done this, make sure that uh, your when you show controls, make sure it's a slider and not type in in case uh, in case yours shows up as type in. Make sure that that is a slider. So now we're going to go down here and we're going to, um, well, first thing, let's get rid of our existing. Well, we can edit our reference. Now let's let's get rid of them. I'm just going to remove the uh, the reference lines here. Now I'm going to go back in and add a reference line. I suppose I could have tweaked them, but let's just start from scratch here. So uh, we're gonna add a, uh, a a reference line there, and I wanna make sure that my value corresponds to the correct uh, parameter. So for our percentile of field goal percentage uh, axis, we're gonna choose the corresponding uh, parameter, percentile field goal percentage, right? And let's show the, uh, the value, and I wanna choose the third line, the... Uh, the dotted line there right so as you can see we have a, a line here at the 50 percent uh, mark and we're gonna do the same thing I'm gonna add a reference line go in here make sure it's the correct uh, parameter our percentile wins parameter like I said parameters aren't useful unless they're tied to something and we're gonna make that a value and I want to go down here and choose the third uh, dashed line option. And as you can see, I have uh, uh, I have quadrants again. Now notice what happens when I change the parameter values. Right, that line will move right up and down and side to side here. I'm sorry, this is up and down, but you get the point, right? These move. 
but you'll notice that the colors did not change. And so what do we have to do to, uh, to make those, uh, those color change, changes? So we are going to edit our original color calculation. Uh, this is a calculated field that we use to, uh, to define our quadrants, right? So you'll notice if the, if the percentile of the field goal percentage is greater than or equal to 0.5 and the percentile of our wins is greater than or equal to 0.5, we're calling that top right, right? So that's going to be all of these, uh, these values uh, in here. And so what we want to do is we don't want a hard-coded 0.5 anymore. We've created parameters. We want to throw our parameters into the mix, right? Let's get some use out of uh, out of our parameters here. We're going to throw, and I have this pre uh, pre done here. So if I expand this all the way out, you'll notice the only thing that I did was I changed the hard-coded 0.5 to the respective parameters. So our percentile of uh, field goal percentage has to be greater than or equal to the parameter percentile field goal percentage, not 0.5, right? Same thing with wins, right? Our percentile of wins has to be greater than the uh, parameter percentile wins, not, not uh, 0.5. So you're just substituting hard-coded values for parameters. Going to say OK. Now, look what happens when I change my values. Notice that the colors change, right? As I move those side to side, uh, if I go up and down, right, that gray goes away, we get some orange. Uh, the blue goes away, we get red, and vice versa as as we move uh, up and down. So this is just a nice little uh, way to get some interactivity into your uh, quadrant analysis. This has been Avani Smoke. Hope you found this uh, tip useful. Get out there and uh, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching.